morning light, see through the leaves, fresh air. Mm. It always feels right being in the nature like this. She has never complained carry heavy backpack and do the trekking for a few hours. And that's because she knows that she is heading to a place, a very beautiful place. But wait, it's not that easy. We have to push the car in the mud, making the path, drive to rivers. To get to Lubuk Bigal village is not that easy at all. It is even worse in rainy season like now. But I believe the off-roaders will just love it. River. Hope we didn't ruin their nice, relaxing afternoon bath. I even feel like driving a boat, not a car. Those with motorbikes have to use this raft to cross the river. After all those complexities, then... We are back on the trekking session in the forest. Tread carefully through the beams of timber that place there to help us, the trekkers. River and more river. Ah, so exhilarating. This one is big! It is very hard these days to find a tree as big as this one in the city. Local people call it Ulim tree and it's their favorite because it's very strong. Not all the tracks here are flat. Once we have to climb up a steep slope. Lucky that they have put a timber ladder here. This 5 hours trekking starts to drain our energy. Rain starts to fall. Hey, look at that! So high! I can't even see it stopped from here. This high wall is a border between two provinces. The higher side where Panta River is, before the waterfall is the province of West Sumatra. After the waterfall, the river named Batang Kapas, and it's the province of Rio. Batang Kapas River is one of the tributary that flows into the main stem Kampa River. It's time to cruise the Kampa River!
frankly, I feel cold. We have to be in this condition for another 3 hours at least. But the view is so beautiful. Welcome to Teluk Meranti Village, aka Bono City. Let Chasing Bono begin. that perfect wave and it is in the river not the sea I guess you guys envy me when you know how long I can stand up riding this wave it is very long this one wave goes for no less than 40 kilometers or about 25 miles happen because of the tidal bore. It's a phenomenon in which the leading edge of the incoming tide forms a wave of water that travels up a river against the direction of the river current. Even when this recording was fast forwarded 8 times normal speed, I have not fall at all. I'm tired. Let me squat for a while. Mm, or let me lay down on my surfboard while waiting for the wave to reform. Alteration in depth that happen in some spots creates readable wave for surfers. You can surf non-stop for two hours without stepping down from your surfboard, but the chance only happen once in a day when the tide comes. The thing is, you are not depend on the storm in the ocean to produce swell, like on the common surfing at sea. In Bono, you have a fixed schedule, especially on new moon and full moon. Perfect wave, guarantee. If you fall, rescue boat will pick you up and drop you back in front of the wave. That's the rescue boat for. Let's celebrate tonight. Yeah, yeah, no you can sit by me. Yeah, yeah, start living before you die from me. Yeah, yeah, no truth and not trying it. Yeah, yeah, start living, stop denying it. By the way, you won't surf alone here. Local surfers will be more than happy to join you. There will be no surfers dropping another. Everyone can surf on the same wave together as much as they like. Don't follow a trend, you know you never should. They say when it's gone, oh, it's gone for good. Give it through what you get is what you give. What you get out of life depends on how you live. Let's celebrate tonight. Yeah, yeah, no use in fighting it. Yeah, yeah, start living before you die from it. Yeah, yeah, no truth in not trying it. Yeah, yeah, start living, stop denying it. Yeah, yeah, no use in fighting it. Yeah, yeah, start living before you die from it. Yeah, yeah, no truth in not trying it. Yeah, yeah, start living, stop denying it. Yeah, yeah. Nothing in this world is gonna 
cloudy. 